Welcome to all of you in your own favorite online classroom, The Excellence Learner. And today, we are here to discuss a poem of class 11, CVSC board, The Voice of Rain. The poem that has been composed and written by an American dramatist, playwright, short storyteller, novelist, and philosopher Walt Whiteman. Walt Whiteman ke dwara rachit 11 class CVSC board ki ye poem The Voice of Rain ke baare mein aaj hum hum log discuss karne ke liye ja rahe hain. Bachcho jaise aapko pata hai main baar baar kahte aaya hu ya aapka apna channel hai jiske madhyam se samay samay par aapke education related जो भी जानकारियां हिंदी या अंग्रेजी में आपको चाहिए मैं समय समय पर अपडेट करता आया हूं तो आज यह वॉइस ऑफ रेन आपके लिए मैं लेके आया हूं जो 11 क्लास के लिए है एक बात मैं और बता दूं कि वीडियो को आप शुरू से लेकर अंत तक देखेंगे यू शुड गो थ्रू द वीडियो फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू लास्ट और यहां आपको एक आई बटन भी मिलेगा आई बटन पर प्रेस करने के बाद इस चैनल के जितने भी प्लेलिस्ट हैं जितने भी वीडियोस हैं वो आपको मिल जाएंगे और यहां से आप उसे देख भी सकते हैं ठीक है तो चलिए मैं आज स्टार्ट करता हूं आप लोगों के लिए द वॉइस ऑफ रेन द वॉइस ऑफ रेन इज वेरी गुड पोएम एंड इन दैट पोएम द पोएट हैज टोटली पर्सोनिफाइड द रेन देयर इज अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन पोएट टू द रेन ही आस्क्ड रेन ही आस्क रेन एंड द रेन answers to the poem what the rain answers has been written here very skillfully and we will discuss about that we will try to find out the exact meaning and try to establish a relation between rain and the earth with the help of this present poem okay let's start now and who are you said i to the sharp falling shower which strains to tell gave me an answer as here translated and who are thou these are the old english word this was not in fashion today but in olden english it was used if i try to convert this line into modern english this will be as art means r and da means you so the line says who are you to kavi ne poocha badal se kaun ho tum who are you said i to the sharp falling shower kisko kaha wo dheemi dheemi girne wali bundon se isse hum फुहारा कहते हैं बारिश के फुहारे से कवि ने पूछा कौन हो तुम विच स्ट्रेंस टू टेल विच स्ट्रेंस टू टेल मीन्स द पोएट वॉज नॉट रेडी टू हैव द आंसर फ्रॉम दैट साइड दैट साइड मीन्स फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द रेन बट सरप्राइजिंगली वेन ही आंस द क्वेश्चन द रेन आंसर्स बैक एंड वॉट द रेन आंसर्स बैक पोएट सेज ही इज गोइंग टू ट्रांसलेट इट इट मीन्स definitely rain has given answer in some other language because it has some other language and the poet for us going to translate it into english right okay okay go ahead to the next stanza i am the poem of the earth the question that was asked uh, who art you who are you in response to the answer the rain says simply i am the poem of the earth mai is dharti ka dharti ki kavita hu means the earth is the composer earth is a poet and i am the poem means again poem is a symbolic word in one word it has so many sim symbol poem that is related to the heart so the rain says i am the internal core part of the earth right 
इन अगले लाइन में इस बात को और ढंग से कह भी रहा है इंटरनल आई राइज इम पालेबल इम पालेबल मीन्स अनटेबल दैट कुड नॉट बी टस्ट रियली आई राइज इम पालेबल आउट ऑफ लैंड ऑफ द बॉटम लेस सी मैं समुद्र की अंतस्थ गहराई से निकलने वाला एक इम्पेबल इम पालेबल अनटेबल मेटीरियल हूं so the rain says its first form as a student we know that jab suraj ki garmi suraj ki tikshn kiran samudra ke lahron samudra ke jal se padti hai to wah jal badalta hai water vapor mein jise hum touch nahi karte touch nahi kar sakte in fact so it is impalpable and that comes out from the bottomless sea अगेन तो यह फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ द रेन हुआ अगेन इट स्टेज अपवर्ड्स टू हैवन वैन भैगली फॉर्म्ड ऑल टूगेदर चेंज एंड येट द सेम कह रहा है रेन अपनी बातों को बता रहा है कवि को टूवर्ड्स द हेवन देन आफ्टर आई आई कम्स फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द सी एंड Rises towards the heaven. Heaven means here. Heaven means the sky. Ashman. Which Ashman? Who? Here, for heaven, is told. I am coming from the sea. 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 I am coming ऑल टूगेदर चेंज और मैं पूर्ण रूप से बदल चुका होता हूं जमीन के समय में जब मैं अर्थ पर था आई वॉज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉटर आई वॉज इन फॉर्म ऑफ लिक्विड इन फैक्ट वेन आई गेट दीट फ्रॉम द सन आई चेंज इन टू वेपर एंड अगेन द वेपर इज कंबाइंड ऑल टूगेदर इट चेंज टोटली फॉर्म इट इज इरेगुलर फॉर्म नाउ बट द इंटरनल क्वालिटी इज In change till now, so it is yet the same. Changed and same, though different word का एक जगह पर use किया है कवि ने इसे antithesis बोलते हैं, ठीक है? चलिए अगले stanza में I descended to lave the drought at me dust layer of the globe and all that in them without we were we in without me were seats only latent unborn latent unborn and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautified then first step me kya bataya ki i am impalpable comes from the bottom of the sea this form it is the वॉटर वेपर देन अगेन क्लाउड और उसके बाद क्लाउड जब नीचे उतरता है इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेन आई डिसेंड मैं उतरता हूं मैं आता हूं और वॉट टू लैब लैब मीन्स टू वॉश वॉश द ड्रॉट ड्रॉट को खत्म करने के लिए आता हूं इट इज फैक्ट दैट इफ देर इज नो रेन देर विल बी ड्रॉट एंड ड्रॉट ऑल वेयर ऑल ऑल अराउंड केवल चारों ओर सुखाई सुखा दिखाई पड़ेगा so i descend to lap the drought drought ko khatam karta hu atoms atoms chote chote kan dust layer of the earth jo dhool kan pade hote hain kahan globe ke upar globe means here earth and all that in them without me seeds only kyunki inme jo kuch hai beej chhipa hota hai wo keval beej hota hai they are let and it means hidden and unborn because in that atoms in that dust of layer there are seeds they are only seeds unborn until and unless i recess to them and when i recess to them it gets its own life right so here i am a symbol of life as well and forever day by day and night i give back my own and then after after descending on the globe on the earth in fact i get my original life i get back in the form of water and make pure and beautify i make the earth pure 
and when i passes through river through springs through falls i beautify the natural scene of the earth aur jab main main nadiyon jharnon se hokar guzarti hu apne original form mein us samay to main dharti ko ki sundarta ko badhata hu राइट right? so, इस तरह से हमने देखा कि कि रैन ने बताया कवि को थ्री डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ इट्स ओन लाइफ फर्स्ट इट वाज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉटर वेपर देन अगेन व्हेन इट कंडेंसेस इट गेट द फॉर्म ऑफ क्लाउड देन द क्लाउड फॉल्स ऑन द अर्थ इट इज रैन अगेन एंड दिस रैन गिव्स एनर्जी टू द अर्थ and beautify the earth as well last mein kavi conclude kar raha hai kahte hue rain kah raha hai i am just like a song i am just like a poem kyunki pehle line mein isne kaha tha i am the poem of the earth so again in the last line it is concluding proving itself that why it has said itself rain in the very beginning so i am like a song why when song issues from birthplace means when song is issued from a poet after fulfillment after doing its task after completing its task wandering rocked and unrocked what was the task to move here and there whether people read or not read whether people recognize or not return back with full of love similarly i wander here and there then after return back to the birthplace birthplace of earth in the original form and beautify it similarly with love a poem returns a song returns to the poem with full of love so this is the sum total meaning of this poem now it is time to discuss about figure of his speeches that has been used in this poetry so the very from the very first line we see the poem is the form of personification personified so the per, the personification is used the voice of rain personification is the figure of his speech we know in which non living beings are treated and depicted as the living beings personification mein nirjeev ko bhi hum sajeev ke roop mein vyavhar karte hain yahan par aisa hi dekhne ko mil raha hai to pehla to personification hai dusra aur kya hai isme hyperbole ka bhi use hua hai dekhta hu hyperbole kahan hai dekhta hu hyperbole jo hai yahan par aap dekh rahe hain kya likha hai poet ne bottomless sea it is the exaggeration the sea can't be without a bottom right but here to say, uh, say that the depth of the sea he has used bottomless sea it is exaggeration so it is hyperbole again hyperbaton hyperbaton kya hai jisme ki waak ke sahi syntax ko use nahi kiya jata hai right iska use poem mein kiya jata hai poet logon ke dwara isko aur interesting banane ke liye dekhiye said i actually format kya hona chahiye tha i said but here the poet used said i so it is hyper baton right again maine aapko bataya tha ek aur use kiya hai kavi ne changed and same they both are opposite words but has been used here all together so it is antithesis so they are the some figure of his speech that has been used here in this poetry and now i fed and believe you student had caught the meaning of the poem right aapko kitna samajh mein aa gayi hogi ab aapko kya karna hai is video ko dekhne ke baad apne se is kavita ko shuru se lekar from the start to the last padh lena hai and you will get the exact meaning of the poem right now student it's your turn just go ahead and subscribe my channel those who are who has not subscribed till now and and those people who have subscribed share and write comments in the given comment box subscription karne ke baad ye jo 
बेल आइकन है इसे जरूर दबा देंगे प्रेस करेंगे ताकि मैं जो यहाँ से अपडेट करता रहूँ विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम यू शुड बी नोटिफाइड विद दैम राइट थैंक्स बाय